There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground, far from all worries and troubling sound. When I go there to be by myself, only me. No one can guess what I came there to see. There's a sun in the sky. There's a cloud. Hi guys, today's video is a fun video and I thought of doing it as I'm sure we all are culprits to not one, not two, but many of these bad habits and I'm sure it will be fun to watch and a quick reminder to try and break few of these bad habits. Before we start, I want you guys to tell me which are the bad habits you have fallen prey to on daily basis. Mommies, let's not judge anyone here, but let's take a chill pill today. I will mention my bad habits in the comment section below, so make sure to check it out. And don't forget to comment yours below. Let's all have a candid moment. But on a serious note, let's pick one bad habit to change each week. Soon, you will have a cleaner home and more free time for things you enjoy. So let's start with habit number one. Leaving bed unmade. Make your bed. You know the line, right? We hear it all the time, don't we? So what would you say when you enter your room and saw this bed? Even if rest of the bedroom is neat and clean, an unmade bed makes it look messy. Just making the bed each morning is a habit that will promote keeping the rest of the room and maybe the entire house organized. Make the task simple by selecting the bedding that is easy to spread up. I have lately bought some fitted sheets that keeps the sheet in place and I do not have to take it out every time to make the bed. Just a quick fix, put the pillows back and the blanket or comforter whatever you use and my bed is done. And in the distance I see someone waving at me. Second, leaving wet towels on the floor. Want to spend less time in the laundry room? Then don't leave wet towels on the floor. This is one of the simplest bad habits to break by hanging wet towels to dry. You'll get a second or third use and lighten your laundry load. Third, using too much cleaning product. If a little bit of cleaner works, then a lot of cleaner will work better and faster, right? Uh-uh, that's actually wrong. Using too much cleaner or laundry detergent can actually cause more harm than good. If an excess of cleaning product is not rinsed away completely, the residue becomes a dirt magnet trapping soil. That's why you should read directions and always use the recommended amount or even little less. You're wasting the time and money on the extra product and the water to rinse it away. Fourth, using one disinfectant wipe to clean the entire bathroom. That's a big no-no. Disposable disinfectant wipes are great for a quick wipe down of the bathroom sink. But that little square hardly contains enough disinfectant to clean an entire bathroom. By the time you reach the toilet seat and handles, the disinfectant qualities are long gone and you are simply spreading bacteria from one surface to another. To be effective, the wipe should contain enough disinfectant moisture so the surface remains wet for at least a minute. For a thorough cleaning, use multiple wipes or a clean cloth and sufficient disinfectant and water solution. Fifth, leaving dirty dishes in the sink. How much longer would it take to put that dirty glass in the dishwasher instead of the sink? Leaving dirty dishes in the sink is the perfect breeding ground for bacteria and a jackpot for hungry insects. Wearing outside shoes in the house. 
taking just a few seconds to remove your shoes each time you come in from the outside will save you hours of vacuuming not to mention the bacteria and germs that will stay out of living areas too make this habit simple for everyone in your house by providing a bench or a chair for easy shoe removal keep a shoe rack close by to collect each family member's footwear na, 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 na. Seven, allowing paper clutter to accumulate. Even with online billing and banking, there is still a mountain of paper that ends up in our homes and they have a tendency to pile up. Don't let that happen. Designate a place near the entryway for all the mails and make a habit to empty it by sorting it and complete the action needed or toss at least once a week. File important papers like tax receipts, take digital photos of children's special artwork or frame them for display. Do whatever is required but make sure that you keep paper clutter out of sight. Dusting last when cleaning. Save yourself some effort by dusting before you vacuum. A room should be clean from top down so the dust lands on the floor to be swept or vacuumed away. And remember how that one disinfectant wipe can't effectively clean an entire bathroom? The same goes for a disposable duster. If it has been a while since you dusted, grab a clean duster. When the one you're using turns a solid grey, you're no longer trapping dust, you're just pushing it around with a dirty duster. Ninth, not completing task. Well, we all get interrupted, but try to complete a task once you've started it. If you bring out the ironing board, don't stop for a social media break until all of the ironing is done. Don't toss the clean laundry on the floor or on the bed to fold later. Do it now. If you only have 15 minutes, say, start by removing clutter and putting items in their proper place. Then, if you get sidetracked, you can come back later to do a deeper cleaning. And lastly, waiting until the cleaning job is overwhelming. Putting off cleaning and waiting until the task has become overwhelming is one of the hardest bad habits to break. Most of us can't face a disaster and would simply avoid it for as long as possible, isn't it? Let me know if that's you. But if you and your family do a bit of cleaning each day, then deep cleaning will not be so overwhelming. As I always say, done is better than perfect. One bonus tip is to clean our cleaning tools. We often keep using the same cleaning tools without cleaning them, which simply transfers dust from one place to another or do a mediocre job. So make sure to clean your cleaning tools from time to time for them to serve you optimally. So guys, these were the 10 bad habits that we need to break. It's not just you, even I am culprit here to quite a few of bad habits. So let's take one habit per week and try and get better at it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to mom and me. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye for now. Far from my worries and troubling sound. When I go there to be by myself, only me. Came there to see